We have the great honor to speak to Mr. Paolo Olivieri. He's the director of the Milano Fiero Auto Classica. Mr. Olivieri, what are your duties? I'm in charge of the strategy, of the vision, and the, all, the, all that you can see around uh, comes from my mind, I mean, comes from my ideas. <laughs> so, you can see Milano Classica is not just an exhibition of classic cars, it's a mix of museum, classic cars, dealers, spare parts. Uh, we have also a classic circuit where you can drive your classic car. So, it's a mix of many, many different things. Um, it's the fifth time now that the uh, Milan Auto Classic has held. How did it start? Why did it start? And how did it develop over time? So, Milano deserve a classic car exhibition because maybe you don't know, but in the 20s there was the one of the first uh, uh, Salon de la, de la Voiture, there was of the first uh, classic car exhibition was held in Milano oh. at that time. So, after almost 100 years we have uh, we are back to Milano and uh, we started five years ago and right now we have more than 50,000 visitors we have more than a thousand and five hundred cars uh, displayed so we are absolutely positive about the future one would ask um, we only just had Geneva International Motor Show like a couple of weeks ago and now another great salon why so close after Geneva is part of the strategy of Milano Classica. We want to be exactly one week or one week or two weeks after the Geneva Salon, so the car manufacturers they can bring their museum, but they can present also new models. It will be, it's the perfect display for the Italian uh, public to see what's new in uh, Geneva. Now we're standing in front of a beautiful BMW car. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, this year, as every year we select one uh, theme of the exhibition mm -hmm. and this year we celebrate the 100 years of the BMW brand. So, you can see all the lounge is surrounded by 20 fabulous BMW mm -hmm. and next to us we have the, the crown jewel. It's a 507 with uh, uh, only one owner so you can see it's partly restored but the interiors are original so it's an extremely rare sports car from the 60s is there anything that you have in mind a vision where the milano auto classica might go in the future yes we're working on a committee we are putting together the best exhibition in europe so uh, retromobile in paris we have uh, retro barcelona in spain with Essen in Germany and we are creating a committee so we can merge all our uh, efforts to have uh, to share clients, visitors, so it's like a com European committee where all the best are together. Great, we're looking forward to that and I thank you very much for the interview. Thank you for coming.